Group therapy. So what is it? You might be thinking of signing up for one of our amazing groups at the Counseling Center, or you may have been referred group therapy by your therapist or researching online. And you might even have some initial thoughts about group therapy overall. Regardless, in today's video, you're going to be learning a little bit more about group therapy at the UC Irvine Counseling Center, uh, some myths, and why group therapy might be beneficial for you. Group therapy is a powerful tool for growth and change. It's a form of therapy in which a group of individuals come together to discuss and describe some of the concerns that they're dealing with under the supervision of one or two licensed psychologists. Um, typically, here at the Counseling Center, uh, group therapies run in for around one and a half hours on a weekly basis and can cover concerns involving depression, anxiety, social skills, self-esteem, uh, relationships, and then also grief. Group therapy provides a number of benefits that individual therapy may not, including providing a support network or a sounding board to talk about concerns with in a safe environment. Other members of a group can help you come up with specific ideas to tackle a difficult situation or come up with general life changes that can benefit you. It also may help you put your own concerns into perspective. Many individuals experience mental health difficulties, but few actually talk about them. Oftentimes, it may feel like you are the only one experiencing a specific concern, but you actually are not. It can actually be a relief to hear someone talking about their own problems and make you feel less alone in yours. You may be able to learn something from others and take home new coping skills that you might not have considered as well. Lastly, groups meet weekly and are completely free, and a student can attend them as many times as they want. However, it makes sense why some might be hesitant to join a group. Here are some common myths and misunderstandings about group therapy that may help reduce your overall distress about joining. As I talk about myths and misunderstandings about group, what you'll see on the screen is a, an example of what group therapy may look like as well. Myth number one. One common thought that one might have is, I will be forced to tell all of my deepest thoughts, feelings, and secrets to the group. It's important to note that you control what, when, and how much you share with the group. Most people will find what is safe enough that is troubling them, and a group can be very affirming and helpful to share that with. We encourage you not to share what you're not ready to disclose. Sometimes just listening to others can be very helpful and could apply to you. Myth number two. Group therapy is less effective than individual therapy. If group therapy is recommended to you by your therapist, it's because your therapist believes it is the best fit for you. We recommend group therapy when we believe it is the most effective way to help you. If you have questions, you could always ask your counselor on why they think group therapy might best fit you. Research also shows that group therapy is just as efficacious as individual therapy as well. Myth number three. I feel like my problems are not as bad as others. Or, I feel like my problems are worse than others. This is a common thought, but not a reason why group therapy would be ineffective for you. Again, other group members, including you, may benefit from knowing that they aren't the only one that struggles with the problem, whether how big or small it may seem. While supporting others, you may also be able to support yourself. Myth number four. If I'm in a group, I will not have enough attention and get my needs met. Usually most groups have seven to nine group members. Group members are often surprised by how much ground can be covered in a typical group and how their concerns can be addressed even when others are speaking. Recognizing how your own personal experiences may fit with another or connecting with a specific group member can help you learn from others and facilitate personal growth. You can find more information about myths and facts on our website. So if after all of this you're interested in a group, the first thing that you're going to need to do is figure out what type of group may interest you. We have therapy groups based on a variety of topics offered quarterly, such as interpersonal groups, dealing with social anxiety, groups on befriending your body, graduate student therapy groups, and general process groups. Uh, remember, group offerings vary by quarter, so please check on our website or call the Counseling Center for a list of our current offerings. So let's say you pick a specific group. What happens next? Once you have a group selected, you will need to go through an initial assessment process if you haven't already. A link to that video is below too. In this assessment, you'll be asked questions about your current presenting concerns. It's the appointment where you will let your therapist know that you're interested in group therapy. The therapist may also suggest group therapy as the best treatment option based on your presenting concerns. At this time, you will be referred to a brief pre-screener with one of the leaders of the group. The pre-group screener will allow you a chance to talk with the group facilitator to see if the group is a good fit for you and to learn a little bit more about group expectations. As a reminder, groups recruit on a quarterly basis, so the beginning of most quarters is when we have our screeners. 
groups typically start week three of each quarter. So if you have any questions, feel free to call the Counseling Center uh, at 949-824-6457, or again, go to our Counseling Center website. Thank you again for watching this video. If you have any more questions about group therapy groups, feel free to go to our Counseling Center website or give us a call, or follow us on one of our many social media apps to be up to date with the types of services that we're offering. Thank you again, be well, and have a wonderful day.